with Colgate Palmolive merge with another company is when Procter and Gamble enters the toothpaste toothpaste market in another country. Well, it is as plain and simple as that. That you Colgate lovers out there, if you have you ever seen the Crest or Colgate, whoever shoes and people wondering about Colgate, you know, about Colgate Total. After all, the issues with, with Colgate Palmolive and their Trisol clan ingredients, they might be banned in certain countries, and what the, would, would be with a merger entry. With entering another market, I mean when Crest, I mean I mean when Crest enters into the Japanese market, would be that they they might change the total formula. Well, same thing. I'm not talking about burger. I'm not talking about burger joints merging with a Canadian donut shop company. This is Burger King. This it is still in process, but still with these Abbeynomics thing going on about the uh, uh, affirming a tax haven, you know, in Japan. But after all, what I'm telling you about is this thing. Once for all, I might tell you that I use this brand. Most likely, I use this is a travel size brand. You know what it is. It contains. I don't know what it says. All right, um, the amount of fluoride, you know, sodium fluoride or something like that. Well, is that is that as simple as okay? There's no issues with this, you know. I use this every single day, you know, and there's no issues. There's only problem that the solution is that. Once evolved, it was. I think that it's changed the formula and changed the formula back with. Procter and Gamble making their products sold, you know, and they don't have any cavity after this, you know. First of all, and second, first of all, it was like this made in the U.S. Of course, you know, it's not like, like Colgate. They they're making some only the total with Triclosan. The others are like made in Mexico or Canada, or there's some that are made in the U.S. Thank goodness for that, but you know. After all, this is not Chinese toothpaste we're talking about. This is talking about uh, the two, the the big business in oral hygiene. Oral hygiene is big business, you know. Is what it is. These these two competitors, Colgate and Crest, you know, always enter to the world markets, you know. And and then I have read some issues that Colgate has done very well in certain markets. And Crest is doing well also. But this comes into the conclusion that, you know, there's another company. You know, this is before I'm talking about going all to all this detail. This company, even though I seen it on the net and all that stuff, is Lion. Lion Corporation. It's the number one. <laughs> best-selling brand of oral hygiene products in Japan and then what is the what is what it do with this mark of skeptic you know when comp when big competitors come out come out and then they enter a new market or when new when a new company or s seriously I mean I've seen seen this before does does anybody said oh does your toothpaste done this than the other one and then this is this is what I saw about another company this is in South America that they're trying to have oh look test this and, you know want to try it and want to try this brand want to try this brand against Colgate and then which one which which I prefer is what's my mouth uh, teeth uh, nice and fresh Boom! It was another company. Well, I ain't, I ain't gonna name it and just go to South America to see those commercials or or look it at a YouTube. You know, that's where I could tell you where this competition of newcomers do. Same thing. What Procter & Gamble would do, the same thing would do. 
if they have if they're gonna have baseball players or they're gonna have you know all these people right there look we're gonna try a new toothpaste you know this is this is this is where the crest but back then I'm talking about the crest brand the crest brand has been like loaded off and changed its name to oral B in certain markets it is like they don't want to see a competitor you know you say oh yeah oral B you know this is is but still they're still in like in China and South Korea that they will still probably they might still sell it under the crest name Procter and Gamble you do a statistics of commercial and what it would be if it enters Japan yeah that's what it is they were saying, oh yeah, I'm, and they're trying the Lion toothpaste or the whatever the brand line comes. And would it would be a trick is that they t t they test a bunch of people. Which one you choose? I choose brand A or brand B or you know if they or, or or whatever they choose. They choose this one. What is this? This is brand X, but this and then they just choose. What is the surprise brand? Come out of this one, even though it's gonna be written in Japanese, try to import toothpaste from the US to Japan. Then there is uh, one thing that I could mention that this would be kind of awkward, kind of awkward in some things. If you have seen my um, video on Embargo Man about Colgate or Crest, you've seen that I'm a, I'm a Crest user. You know, I always have been using Crest most of the time, you know. But after all, is that is that they want to see uh, this kind of trick. Now, this is where Colgate Palmolive is planning to merge. Okay, well, if Colgate Palmolive sees this kind of thing in Japan, then they'll merge with Lion, and they just have like this is this is then some people will see oh yeah I'm a Colgate juicer I'm just supporting you or I'm swishing a crest or something like that you know being afraid that their company is going shifting their headquarters from New York that's where Colgate Palmolive is to Japan. And then this is what would it comes to trick them. Look at this. Let's go on a merge. We're gonna call it CPL, Colgate Palmolive and Lion. I you would imagine that kind of a name, Colgate Palmolive and Lion, could be that's when Crest enters the market and they just showing to the Japanese public that how Crest is a uh, Superior brand and that line, and then then there'll, there'll be trouble like that. And Colgate comes in the way, stepping up its game. Merger calling themselves Colgate Palmolive and Lion. So, no, somebody said, so, so if Colgate is going to start making. If your tooth, if your Colgate toothpaste is going sold in the U.S., it's going to be start being manufactured in Asia. Don't you worry. Japan has the highest quality standards in the. Well, Japan has the highest quality standards in the world. Well, that means if your Colgate toothpaste. Is manufactured in the Far East is going to be made in Japan because of the merger of Colgate Palmolive and forming a new company called CPL Colgate Palmolive and Lion. Then it would be like the dominance of Co of the Colgate brand in Japan because of this merger. Well, the merging two of two companies. One from Japan and one from the U.S. You know, when Crest enters, you have seen those commercials. Oh, look at look at this! Crest is out selling Lion, or, or, or you make sure that there might be 
after this merger a uh, yeah a um yeah uh, merger you know a formula you know a change of formula for the Colgate regular toothpaste and the reduced of you know this is more like in the line administration between the Colgate Palm Olive and Lion murder and a reduction or discontinuation or changing the formula of Colgate Total to get to get rid of triclosan and put something harmless or something like that. I don't know what it is or something like this with this kind of merger. So you know, relax. You know, Japan is one of the countries that has the highest specifications in the world industry with the highest you know quality standards. That means that, and and that means that even though I'm talking about the oh, the highest safety standards in the world, Japan is one of the countries with the highest safety standards in the world. So don't you worry about a co your Colgate poo toothpaste being made in Asia. In the U.S., I might say made in Japan because Japan is more trustworthy than China. I know that. And it's safer than China. And I probably I might say if I've seen this kind of thing, I still use Crest until the day i seen the horror stories of Chinese toothpaste. Of that. The day I see a Chinese, made in China label, well... Even though Colgate will make them in the U, will make toothpaste in the U.S. again, with or uh, with the Colgate Palm Olive Lion merger and Lion merger, then uh, I'll go ahead and you know let's buy Colgate again, <laughs> you know, and that's how one will be supporting the American industry. Even though if Colgate decides to move their headquarters from New York to Tokyo, Japan, you know, might as well bet that thing, you know, this, this is what I mean. So mergers are good in one way or the other, others is they always look for marketing. The oral health industry is very picky. Once again, one company enters and a merger with just like Burger King, are planning for this merger with Tim Hortons, a, a Canadian donut shop company, you know that it runs all over Canada, is the king of donuts over there, right? Then you'll see this kind of this kind of stuff going on in the oral hygiene industry in Japan. Procter and Gamble would do the same thing. As well, oh, all right, the company that that makes this product that competes with Colgate, that is a newcomer in Colombia, would be it's called Ment Mentadent. All right, that's a brand of Koala. It's a Colombian brand. Well, they just do that with the Colgate. You know, that's I think that's how Procter and Gamble would do with the would, would, would do that. Crest enters Japan, and then they said, you know. We, which one I choose? Oh, I choose Crest, but in Japanese, you know, same thing. Then Colgate enters the market, merger with Colgate, merger with then Colgate Palmolives have a merger with Lion, then the company and then forming a company called Colgate Palmolive and Lion, then you have ultra bright white strips right here will be branded over on as Colgate, in Japan will be branded as Lion. You know, that's how it works. So this kind of thing is this merger and all this stuff. I I I believe that a company that does that, you know, what Crest gonna what what Procter and Gamble gonna do with Crest when they enter Japan is doing the same thing. You know, which one you which two pages I'm choosing this. Then Kogue Palm Olive's merger with Lion and then have finding a couple of Colgate toothpaste being manufactured in Japan because of the line merger, then that'll be like, here it goes. There's Colgate. Colgate changing its fluoride formula to calcium fluoride. Another type of fluoride I think is naturally found on 
squid or octopus or calamar that has calcium fluoride you know squid have calcium fluoride naturally you know they just get it I think from the octopus or from the squid and put calcium fluoride on Colgate's toothpaste with the Colgate palm olive and lion merger with the lion merger you know so then there will be then Colgate will outsell, outsell Crest in Japan and Procter and Gamble's gaining of their in, in ambitions that they will outsell the Lion brand. And Kogi comes there and boom. Crest is done in Japan and I think that might be number two. I hope it will be the number two in sales. But but, but Kogi will all on top Crest in Japan even though that that kind of a merger that means with Kogi Palm Olive forming a company called Kogi Palm Olive and Lion then it will be that that this is it you know hey man but you know if Col if Kogi Total changes formula or the Kogi Col Kogi Total has been discontinued because of the Kogi Palm Olive and Lion merger then don't worry about it then if you've seen Colgate toothpaste made in Japan, it's okay. It's safe. Even though they changed the fluoride formula. You know, man, you know, because squid contains fluoride. I think I seen the video from this Canadian chick that lives in Japan. I know her. You know, waiting for her to become a YouTube partner. So that's it folks. So don't worry about it. If you still want to buy a Crest user, still go buy Crest. If you want to stick with Colgate to the end, then stick with Colgate to the end. Even if they bring manufacturing back to the U.S. of the regular Colgate toothpaste, toothpaste even though you're going to buy a Japanese-made product, you're going to buy Japanese-made toothpaste when this... Colgate and Palmolive becomes Colgate Palmolive merge with Lion and they form Colgate Palmolive and Lion. Global headquarters will move from New York to Tokyo, Japan. North American headquarters for the US will be still in New York City. So goodbye and have a nice day everybody. Bye.